Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shmay and I make beauty videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you know when I put out new videos. Today's video is going to be a Ulta haul. Ooh, the lighting on that. I needed some new sunscreen so I went to Ulta and I picked up a couple different kinds. If you're curious on what kind of sunscreen I picked up at Ulta, then keep watching. A little background on me is that I work outside for about two to three hours in direct sunlight during the day. Last year, I used the Neutrogena Dry Touch sunscreen under my powder foundation. And when I was trying it out again this year, it just wasn't looking very good. It made my, it made my skin, it, Maddie! It made my makeup look very cakey and like it would just kind of slide off my face and it just wasn't gonna cut it for this year. So I decided to head to Ulta and try out some new sunscreen. So I got some powder ones and I got some kind of liquid one. I will still be using the Neutrogena Dry Touch for like my neck and my chest and anywhere else that is exposed to the sun, but for my face, it's just not working. So the first sunscreen I'm going to be talking about is from May. Maybelline, and this is the Master Prime, I'm gonna butcher this, Octanocte Sunscreen SPF 30. This says it's a primer base, blur plus defend. The back of it says, visibly blurs skin tone and imperfections, smooths skin, lightweight, non-greasy formula, I like that, does not clog pores, I also really like that. And then for application, it says, wear alone or under makeup for comfortable wear. So I didn't get to swatch this in the store, I was just going around all of Ulta finding anything that had any kind of SPF in it and this was one of the first and kind of only products that I found that was drugstore products that had SPF in them so I saw it and I was like yep going in my basket buying you kind of feels like a lotion so it's kind of a pinky color and it feels just like a lotion, like a hydrating. It doesn't have the sunscreen greasy texture to it, which I really hate that feeling. It also doesn't have the silicone feeling of a primer. It dries super quick, which I'm probably going to love since I do use powder foundation. I don't like when it has stuff to stick to. It just looks disgusting. Yeah, I love the feeling of this. I do believe that I'm going to love this. I have to run away from the sun and I'm in a corner. I'm almost out of room to get away from this awful lighting. Okay, if I just stay right like this, the lighting is fine. You guys can see my dog's little monkey in the background. There, I set him up so he can hang out with us. Next in my bag. So after walking around the whole store and looking at a bunch of different products and trying to find anything that really had an SPF in it that wasn't a foundation because I didn't want a foundation, I just wanted like a face primer, a face lotion, something that would absorb into my skin quickly. Just like the one that I just showed you guys, like this one. I finally went to the front, asked the ladies that I, I was looking for a powder sunscreen. I've watched a bunch of videos on them online, so I was very curious to try one. One of the things that they recommend was Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil, which I used to wear this all the time. I couldn't remember if I still had some or if I had used it all up and that's why I wasn't wearing it anymore. I couldn't really remember. I bought another one. Yes, I did. A couple days before the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So this, ooh, so this has an SPF 25 in it and I plan to just wear this over the top of my normal everyday makeup for a little more sun protection. And this is like a translucent powder you guys can see it kind of has some pink tones to it but other than that it's gonna work perfect over the top of my makeup the next product I got is kind of like an all-in-one brush and makeup and I really wanted to find one of these while I was there because this is perfect for right before you go outside which I am back and forth inside outside so I thought this would be perfect I can dust it on my part of my hair because I tend to burn on my scalp and I can apply it all to my face before I go outside so this one's by Derma E Essentials and this is sun protection mineral powder SPF 30 and it is a hundred percent translucent for all translucent it's a hundred percent translucent for all skin types natural mattifying antioxidant oil free and I know I've watched a couple videos about how powder sunscreen really doesn't do anything for your skin I am curious to see if that's true or not but I feel like anything is better than nothing 
So it comes with a little pamphlet on how to use it. So this says that it needs to be reapplied every two to three hours for all day sun protection. It also gives you brush care on how to clean this. And it also says it can be applied directly over your makeup, which is something I wanted. So this is what it looks like. When it said it was a translucent powder, I was thinking it was gonna be more like white, not skin colored. Ooh, so it has the little brush all in there. And it said to just swirl it on your hand until the powder comes out. I feel like it's coming out though. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Ooh, yeah, so this is gonna be super simple and easy to use. I feel like some of it's in my mouth. Gross. Then to close it back up, you just slide this up so it hides the bristles. Where did my lid go? Then you just put that over top. There you go, and then it keeps it all in one convenient tube. I feel like this is gonna make a mess. I'm curious. Oh. So if you want to, you can buy different powder and put in here so you can continuously to use this. So maybe whenever I run out of this stuff, I can put like the mineral veil or something into this and be able to have it with me all the time. I like it. So these are the three products that I got for sunscreen. Next, I picked up an item that I have been looking for every time I go to any kind of drugstore. I look for this in the Brightener Illuminator. This is one of my all-time favorite dark circle cover-up. It also illuminates. It's just beautiful. I used to own this. I used it up and then could never find it again. They started just making them as concealers, but the brightening one is my all-time favorite. And then I picked up some more of my favorite, I always say this wrong, micellar water, whatever. This one's my favorite and I picked it up. I also use this in my daily morning skincare routine that I will link up in the eye and down below in the description box for you guys if you want to go check that out the receipt let's see how much i spent way too much money if you guys are interested in any of these products here are the prices for them so the master prime i got for 6.92 but it was on sale for a buy one get one 50 percent off so originally it is ten dollars the mineral veil is $24. The Derma E sunscreen is $21.95. I hope that this gave you guys some different options for sunscreen for this summer. Let me know down below your favorite sunscreen for the summer and your favorite chapstick with SPF because I'm on the hunt for that next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friend. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when I put out new videos. Also, if you guys want to talk on social media I got a couple of those I'll link them down below in the description so I think that's about it for this video thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video bye